From WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, December 6th. I'm Nicole Nalep, and thanks for joining us here on Eyewitness News. We start you off with shocking new information involving the killing of Camilla Francis Queenie. Now, this all came out while Christopher Francis Queenie faced a judge yesterday for the first time. While we don't know a motive, police have released some more details on the events surrounding baby Camilla's death. And according to the arrest warrant, Francis Queenie had gotten into an argument with his father and then Camilla's mother. Police say in between those fights is when the murder of his 11-month-old daughter happened. Police also recovered a knife, which they believe was used in the crime. The city of New Haven and the attorneys representing a man who was paralyzed while in police custody back in June says that they'll be working together to reach an early settlement out of court. Randy Cox, who was badly hurt in June, is suing the city and police department for $100 million. Five officers were charged for their part in that arrest last month. And firefighters in Watertown continue to investigate a major fire that took place at Young's Farm, and it's happen it happened last night. Now, witnesses say tanks of gas ended up exploding shortly after the fire, but fortunately, people and pets were able to get out of the building. Okay. I started hearing like hissing and it began to begin like unsafe to be there. So I pulled back and then the tank started blowing up. And before you even know it, the whole garage was just up. It's truly miraculous that no people or animals were hurt in that fire. Investigators are still trying to figure out what started it this morning. And we're also learning more this morning about a deadly crash that involved six vehicles that ended up shutting down 84 westbound for nine hours yesterday. Remember this? Well, police have now confirmed that one person was killed in that crash just before 5 a.m. 58-year-old Gary Carter died after hitting a CT transit bus with his tractor trailer right by exit 44 in West Hartford. And police say that initial crash ended up setting off a series of other wrecks involving four other vehicles. Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused that collision. And the Board of Education in Farmington is having a major change of heart. Yesterday, members overturned their decision to exclude some Jewish holidays from the school calendar after they heard from concerned parents. The group will also reconsider adding Diwali in a January meeting. Board members apologized for any pain that they caused local families. Police in Enfield made a major drug bust. Early yesterday morning, investigators ended up tracking down a stolen vehicle and discovered that the driver had several active warrants for their arrest. And when they searched the car, they found cocaine, scales, and packaging materials inside. And a Manchester man is accused of using a hammer as a weapon at a Walmart. Police say a fight took place around 10 yesterday morning right by the customer service counter. Officers arrived in time to break up that fight, and they say that one man was sent to the hospital with minor injuries to the hand. At this point, it's still unclear what exactly caused the fight and what charges the suspect is facing. And investigators in New Haven are asking for your help this morning as they work to track down a driver wanted in a deadly hit and run. Police believe this surveillance video could be critical. They say the driver of this vehicle, which is a white Nissan Murano, is responsible for hitting and killing a pedestrian Sunday on Orchard Street. So take a close look at your screen. If you recognize this SUV, please call New Haven Police. And now to a story we've been following for you since June. One of the two unions fighting for better, better working conditions at Wyndham Hospital has signed a new contract that removes overtime language and decreases insurance premiums. Two different unions at the hospital in Willimantic have been fighting for a settlement since this summer. The second union in this dispute is still working, though, to secure a new contract. And over in New Haven, Mayor Justin Elker has officially announced that he will be running for re-election. And if he wins, this would be Elker's third term for the city. At this point, no one else has announced that they will be running, so he's the first. All right. All right, thanks, Nicole. 704 is now the time. Let's take a look at our Doppler. It is scanning the state dry. It's going to change later this afternoon with showers pushing into the area and then a more moderate to heavy rain overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, enjoyed. It was a lovely start. We had an amazing skyline shot in New London this morning. It was just simply spectacular. The temperature in southeast Connecticut, 53 degrees.
That is remarkable. The normal high for this time of year is about 45. Now, we do have some chillier temperatures in other parts of the state, so you got to dress accordingly, find your town, find your temperature. They're all over the place this morning. But again, we are up anywhere from, uh, let's say, 9 to 26 degrees better than where we were 24 hours ago, and the winds are calm. Our satellite and radar confirms just enough cloud coverage out there to make for a beautiful start. And according to early warning futurecast, tomorrow's weather today, we stay high and dry until about 3, 4, 5 o'clock this afternoon. That's when you're going to start to see this band of moderate rain starting to push into the state. This is right around 8 o'clock this evening. It's pouring. Third shifters, grab the umbrella. You're going to need it. 1 o'clock in the morning, it is pouring. And then by 7 a.m., it kind of starts to wind down, but we are expecting more showers on and off throughout the day tomorrow. This is right through 4 p.m. We should see some, hopefully, some uh, clearing later in the day through the night into very early Thursday morning. So, uh, and then Thursday looks pretty good. How much rain could we get out of this next system? Anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain could fall. And uh, that is, you know, more beneficial rain. 34 degrees right here in Hartford. Good morning to you. We'll take you right now. Isn't that beautiful? Stunning eye cam in New Haven. Uh, that sky is on fire. 38 degrees, absolutely gorgeous. And there's Waterbury, 43 degrees in Waterbury. So again, the temperatures are kind of all over the place. Let's take you to the temperature trend today. It's up and away into the mid, low to mid 50s. Uh, some upper 40s in northwest Connecticut, but everybody else is going to be in the low to mid 50s today with mostly cloudy skies and that rain developing this afternoon, late this afternoon through this evening. Mostly cloudy afternoon rain through tonight and into tomorrow morning and then rain showers through the day tomorrow. Sun was up at 704, sets at 419. Uh, and again, you'll notice the temperatures along the shoreline are going to be a little bit more moderate than where they are for inland Connecticut. Tomorrow, 57 degrees, no snow out of this system, that's for sure. And then Thursday through Sunday, through Monday, looking pretty good at this point. It looks like a storm system we were monitoring for over the weekend is going to stay to the south of Connecticut as high pressure suppresses that to our south. So again, that's some good news. There could be a stray shower around or a flurry on Saturday, but it's not a big deal. Again, the major storm stays to our south. Here come your shoreline highs, pretty equivalent to where we're headed inland. Look at tomorrow, close to 60 degrees, 60 degrees with showers during the day tomorrow. Thursday, a little bit cooler and then cooler yet Friday through Monday with temperatures dropping into the low 40s. So get ready. It's also going to be breezy, which will make those temperatures feel a little bit cooler. All right, it's just about 708. We're going to send it back to Nicole and Nicole, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too, and it's good to have you tune in to Eyewitness News. Thanks so much for doing so. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on that Channel 3 app. We'll leave you with this gorgeous sunrise in New London. Wow. Enjoy the day, everyone. Be healthy. Stay positive. We'll see you tomorrow.